BioVale Corporation was a Canadian pharmaceutical company, operating internationally in all aspects of pharmaceutical products. Its major production facility was located in Steinbach, Manitoba. It merged with Valeon Pharmaceuticals International in 2010. Topic: SAC Gradient Analytics lawsuit and SEC complaint. In March 2006, CBS program 60 Minutes featured BioVale in a story about its lawsuit against hedge fund SAC Capital Partners and Camelback, now known as Gradient Analytics, among others. According to Eugene Melnick. There's a group of people that got together and essentially attacked the company by putting out false reports, and were just fighting back for our shareholders. The alleged conspiracy began with Camelback, an Arizona stock analysis firm that advertises that it publishes impartial financial reports on companies to help investors evaluate stocks. In the spring of 2003, the hedge fund SAC asked them for a report on BioVale. Daryl Smith, Mark Rosenblum, Demetrios Anifantis, and Robert Balash, former Camelback employees, alleged that Camelback had allowed their client SAC to determine the content and timing of their reports on BioVale. Camelback said those former employees were lying and disgruntled, that Anifantis and Balash were fired because of unethical conduct, Smith for poor performance, Rosenblum was laid off. These four say they were let go after they complained to their superiors about Camelback's practices. SAC denied all the charges in BioVale's lawsuit and said that the decline in the BioVale stock was due to earnings shortfalls and regulatory investigations. In March 2008, the United States Securities and Exchange Commission (SEC) sued BioVale and some of its former officers, alleging that present and former senior BioVale executives, obsessed with meeting quarterly and annual earnings guidance, repeatedly overstated earnings and hid losses in order to deceive investors and create the appearance of achieving earnings goals. When it ultimately became impossible to continue concealing the company's inability to meet its own earnings guidance, BioVale actively misled investors and analysts about the reasons for the company's poor performance. BioVale settled for $10 million US. Gradient Analytics, successor to Camelback, issued a press release stating that the SEC's suit confirms the validity of Gradient's critical analysis of BioVale but raises serious questions about how companies retaliate against analysts with threats, intimidation, and lawsuits." 60 Minutes has been accused of botching the BioVale story by the Columbia Journalism Review's audit columnist and the New York Timis Joe Nacera, who felt Leslie Stahl accepted BioVale's conspiracy theories about short sellers without proper consideration. Sack and Gradient filed a suit against BioVale for malicious prosecution in February 2010. Topic. Admission of making false statements to the public and illegal conduct 2009 Ontario Securities Commission settlement As noted in the February 2009 settlement agreement with the Ontario Securities Commission, BioVale admitted that it violated Ontario securities law and engaged in conduct contrary to the public interest. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Penalties against Eugene Melnick. 
On May 2011, the Ontario Securities Commission in Canada banned Eugene Melnick from senior roles at public companies in Canada, for five years and penalized him to pay $565,000. Earlier in the same year Melnick had settled with the US SEC, agreeing to pay a civil penalty of $150,000 US and he had previously paid $1 million US to settle other claims with the SEC. <laughs> Legal issues A class action suit has been filed against BioVail by investors who between December 14, 2006, and July 19, 2007, bought BioVail stock, alleging that the company had failed to disclose that the multi-dose study on depression drug Aplenzen would not be sufficient for the FDA to approve it. <laughs> 